Today, we are going to go through software installation and some sample image processing for your NVIDIA Jetson training kit. So the first thing you see when you boot up your NVIDIA Jetson Orin Nano training kit is the login screen. You can just click on Orin Nano and key in the default password, which is Jetson, J-E-T-S-O-N, and just hit enter. And now you are at your desktop. To run software updates, make sure that your Jetson Orin Nano is connected to an internet, either via ethernet or Wi-Fi, and open up a terminal using the Control-Alt-T key combination on the keyboard. And you can just do sudo apt update. Tap in the password and let it search for updates. For my case, it says 16 packages can be upgraded, which means there are updates that can be installed. So now to install the updates, I'm just going to do sudo apt full upgrade and with a dash y flag. Next, let's test the camera, check that it is functioning in a terminal. Run the ls space dash dev slash video zero command and it should return with again slash dev slash video zero and this is indicated that the attached camera is connected. We can further verify functionality by typing nvgst capture dash 1.0 space dash dash orientation 2 and a window will pop up and it is verifying that the camera is functioning. Now let's move on to download a Jetson Influence Docker container and it is accomplished by, in a terminal, running a git clone command to download the resources required. It is git clone dash dash recursive dash dash that equals one https colon slash slash github dot com slash dusty nv slash jetson influence your terminal should look something like this next we can start the jetson influence docker container run the change directory command to change the current directory to the jetson influence directory created in the git clone step so cd jetson dash influence and then run the run.sh script file from the docker directory to start running the jetson influence docker container docker slash run sh note that the first time you start the docker container it will take a few minutes to create a new docker image locally the docker image file is then saved to disk so future runs will start faster so your terminal should look something like this so now we can run the change directory command to change the current directory to the jetson influence build arch 64 bin directory created during the git clone step so cd slash jetson dash inference slash build slash arch 64 slash bin run the ls command to verify the directory contains imagenet.py this is the program we will use to classify sample images outside of the terminal let's go ahead and open a new files window navigate to home jetson inference data images and we now verify that this directory contains sample images. The sample images are provided with the Jetson Inference GitHub repository we downloaded earlier. And we can leave this window open but return back into the terminal. So now we're going to run imagenet.py with two arguments. The first argument is the image you want to classify and the second argument is where you want the results to be saved at. We will use orange underscore zero dot jpeg from the Jetson Inference Data Images directory as the image we want to classify. And the results, let's save it as an image and we will save the results as orange underscore zero underscore output dot jpeg in the Jetson Inference Data Images test directory. So period slash imagenet.py y space images orange underscore zero dot jpeg space images slash test slash orange underscore zero underscore output dot jpeg note that the first time you run each model the nvidia tensor rt will take a few minutes to optimize the network the optimized network file is then cached to disk so future runs using a model with an optimized network will load faster Your terminal should look like this. Back in the files window, let's open orange underscore zero dot JPEG and also navigate to the Jetson Influence Data Images test directory and open the orange underscore zero underscore output image. 
Compare the two images and note that the output image containing an overlay on the top left corner created by imagenet.py with text indicating the classification identified. Additionally, a percentage value is presented which represents the certainty the model is with the classification. Now let's try to do object detection with some sample images. We turn back into the terminal and we're going to run detectnet.py with two arguments. The first argument is the image you want to run object detection on and the second argument is where you want the results to be saved at. We'll use peds underscore zero dot jpeg from the Jetson Inference Data Images directory as the image we want to run object detection on. The results will be saved as an image and we will save the results as, as peds underscore zero underscore output dot jpeg in the Jetson Inference Data slash images slash test directory. So period slash detect net dot py base images slash pets underscore zero dot jpeg space images slash test slash pets slash underscore zero underscore output dot jpeg as a reminder the first time you run each model nvds tensor rt will take a few minutes to optimize the network the optimized network file is then cached to disk so future runs using a model with an optimized network will load faster your terminals should look like this and back in the files window let's open pets underscore zero dot jpeg then navigate to the jetson inference data images test directory and open pets underscore zero underscore output dot jpeg compare the two images and note that the output image contains bounding boxes created by detectnet.py over each object with text indicating the object name identified. Additionally, a percentage value is presented which represents the certainty the model is with the object detection. Lastly, let's run semantic segmentation on some sample image. Turn back into the terminal and run segnet.py with two arguments. The first argument is the image you want to run segmentic segmentation on and the second argument is where you want the results to be saved at. We'll use object underscore zero dot jpeg from the Jetson Inference Data Images directory as the image we want to run semantic segmentation on. Uh, the results will be saved as an image and we will save the results as object underscore zero underscore output dot jpeg in the Jetson Inference Data slash images test directory period slash segnet dot py space images slash object underscore zero dot jpeg space images slash test slash object underscore zero underscore output dot jpeg as a reminder, the first time you run each model, NVIDIA's Tensor RT will take a few minutes to optimize the network. The optimized network file is then cached to this, so future runs using a model with an optimized network will load faster. Your terminal should look something like this. Back in the files window, we can open object underscore zero dot JPEG. And in the Jetson Inference Data Images test directory, we can open object underscore zero underscore output dot JPEG. Compare the two images and note that the output image contains semantic segmentation. We can see that segnet.py was successful in semantic segmenting the motorcycle and human in the image. That is it for this video where we covered the software installation and the very basics of processing sample images. There's still a lot more that wasn't covered in this video like processing multiple images at once, processing video files, as well as using alternate models and well, further explaining what image classification, object detection, and semantic segmentation are. Regardless, thank you for watching.